We are here at the foot of Spring Street on the Ohio River in Jeffersonville, Indiana. Now we are going to hear a letter from Brother Joseph Branham in Jeffersonville, Indiana from the Branham Tabernacle. Here is Brother Joseph Branham. Dear salt of the earth, just when it seems like it couldn't get any better, he gives us another tape, load of revelations. We have representation from the predestination. That's the reason we came from the east and west, north and south, to hear the living word made manifest. When God created the world, we were in his thinking. When our accuser keeps pointing his finger at us and tells Father, they did this, they did this, they did this, they did this, the blood of our Lord Jesus covers us. When we are praying, God don't see us. He just hears our voice through the blood of Jesus. Satan cannot bother or he can tempt, but he cannot get a born-again Christian. For God from the foundation of the world foresaw him and sent Jesus to redeem him, and the blood speaks for him. How can we sin when it can't be seen? Even by God, he don't even, the only thing he hears is your voice. He sees your representation. Amen. That is true, see? God's prophet told us these things. It wasn't him speaking. He's just expressing God's thoughts, his attributes of the things that has to come. He is using his mouth to express them by. And after he said them, they have got to come to pass. Heavens and earth will pass away, but my word shall never fail. He has proven his word to us over and over again. Hasn't he proven to us to be the Son of Man made flesh amongst us? Hasn't he proven to us our prophet fulfills every scripture spoken about him? Hasn't he proved to us we are his bride? Hasn't he proven to us we have the true evidence of the Holy Spirit? What are we worried about then? He proved to us if we stand by him, he'll stand by us. His word can never fail. All that believe this message and messenger of this age will be saved. All who do not believe the message and the messenger will perish with the world. Listen close, church. So many misunderstand or have no revelation of the word. They feel we place too much on the man. If you truly believe, Brother Branham, is God's prophet, then open up your heart and soul and listen to what thus saith the Lord says. What will bring the bride together? What will unite the bride to become one with God? In that day, the Son of Man will be revealed. What? To join the church to the head, unite the marriage of the bride. The bridegroom call will come right through this when the Son of Man will come down and come in human flesh to unite the two together. The church has to be the Word. He is the Word, and the two unites together. And to do that, it'll take the manifestation of the revealing of the Son of Man. It will take the manifestation of the revealing of the Son of Man, not your idea, not your understanding, not your thoughts, not your preaching. The Son of Man will unite the bride with the bridegroom and it is taking place right now. We are now in a wedding ceremony with the bridegroom and we'll soon be leaving our wedding supper and our honeymoon. The Word and the church becomes one. Whatever the Son of Man done, He was the Word. The church does the same thing. We can only live by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. God has proven 
that our prophet is God's mouthpiece for today. How do we know it's God's word? He says so. Then he proved it by the word. We are the bride church made ready in the last days. A called out from all the others, that speckled bird that speckled by his blood. Father, our hearts are jumping and my heart's pounding when I think that and know that your words are true. None of them can fail. This is God's only provided way for today. It is the only way not to change one word. Remember, the Holy Spirit can come and anoint a person and it's still out of the will of God. We must stay with the original, vindicated word. If you'd like to stay with that word and hear the voice of God with us, I invite you to join us Sunday at 12 p.m. Jeffersonville time as we hear Proving His Word, 64-0816. You don't have to join us or even hear the same tape at the same time with us, but I appeal to you. Hear God's prophet, Brother Joseph Branham. Scriptures to read before service. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. Mark chapter 5, verses 21 through 43. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Luke chapter 17, verse 30. Luke chapter 24, verse verse 49 John chapter 1 verse 1 John chapter 5 verse 19 John chapter 14 verse 12 Romans chapter 4 verses 20 through 22 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 21 Hebrews chapter 4 verses 12 through 16 Hebrews chapter 6, verses 4 through 6. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. 1 Kings chapter 10, verses 1 through 3. Joel chapter 2, verse 28. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. And Malachi chapter 4. Until next time at the foot of Spring Street in Jeffersonville, Indiana, on the Ohio River. God bless you and shalom.